what's up everybody i hope you are uh, 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 be, bo, bo. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today because I was not for a very long time. So <laughs> I can elaborate. Just give me a minute. I <laughs> So this past weekend was very eventful for me and I was planning on vlogging like the whole thing But then I decided no, psh, no, I'm not gonna do that Which I should have done it because then I started having three mental breakdowns total in the past like four days Yes, it's been bad. So then I finally settled on doing this video. By the way, that's what caused my meltdowns. So if you guys have any video requests, please comment them down below because I'm always in need of them and I love hearing from you guys. You can follow all my socials. They'll be in the description box down below. You can DM me, comment, do anything. I love talking to you guys. So anyway, enough of me rambling. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my backpack for freshman year of high school. I started high school one week ago today. Today was my sixth day and I actually got a request to talk about like my first week experience. So just stay tuned for that at the end of this video if you wanna keep on watching. All right, so we're just gonna get on started. I have this black Adidas backpack and you would have seen this in my clean out backpack of eighth grade year because I have this one and it held up really well. So I'm just reusing it just um save money because I like to spend my money on clothes. So here it is. It's a really nice bag and it has lots of storage, which I really like and it's super durable. And it's gray and black, matches with everything. So first it has two cup holders on the side and, and this one has nothing, but I always keep my earbuds in this one to listen to like music on the bus and stuff. Okay, then in my front pocket, I have a wide variety of things. First I have this speaker. Okay, you're probably confused, I am too. My friend came over the other weekend because we were like studying for our summer homework and she left her speaker here and she hasn't gotten it from me yet. So that's just chilling in there. Next thing I have is my lanyard with my keys and ID, debit card and all that stuff in here. So I'm not gonna show that, but this lanyard is from Vera Bradley and I really like it. So I highly recommend them because it's so easy to just go shopping, put all your little gift cards and money and stuff in there. Okay, next thing is a calculator, and this is a TI-84+, Plus, which is a very, very high-quality high calculator. calculator. I'm pretty sure you can play, like, Mario or something. I don't really even know, but you can do lots of things on here. And I'm going to be using this, like, all throughout high school and college, so I had to invest in one. Okay, next thing I have is apparently an empty pack of gum. I'm confused. Okay. Oh, they must have all fallen out. All right. Then I have a bunch more gum because I go through it very fast. So I need to be stocked up. Okay, then in the pocket behind that, I don't know if I have anything in there. Oh, I guess I do. I have three post-it note packs. I have pink, blue, and orange because I think I needed these for English, but she hasn't like collected them or anything. So those are just in there. Okay. Then in this pocket, I'm not sure if there's anything in there. Yeah, there is. I'm so dumb. Okay. So first we have my lunchbox, which looks a little damaged. I got this from Amazon. I got a few comments asking where I got this from in my last video, which was my getting ready for the first day of school. It's just navy and white stripes and I got it from Amazon and it's pretty like has a lot of space on the inside. So that's good. Then the main thing in this pocket is my binder that I just carry around everywhere. So it's this gray one that I got at Target and when you open it up, it has these two folders right here. Then I have this pencil pouch, which I think is so ugly, but it's the only one they had, so I had to get it. Inside I have a bunch of lead, all of my pencils, and a few red pens. I have some highlighters, and then I also have another pack of gum in here for when I'm in class. Okay, then I have seven folders for all seven of my classes. So the first class is preparing for college and careers, and I don't have anything for that class yet. Next is honors geometry, which here's all my homework that I had tonight, and I just finished it. So if you're not applauding for me at home, I'm suing. And then here's just my homework that I got full credit on that we got today. Then my third class is actually probably my, my second favorite. It's health and wellness, which I'm really happy I'm taking this class because I think that stuff's really important to learn. Not like I'll apply the physical health to my life because I love food and I'm not a big fan of exercising. So um, it's a useful class to have and here's the packet we did today. Then fourth period is gym and I don't really 
understand why I got a folder for this class, but I have this packet that she gave to us on the first day of school. Then for fifth period, I have biology, which I don't have any papers in there. Then I have honors English, and here is my summer homework that I did. I did a map for Lord of the Flies. There's a little sneak peek. I don't want none of y'all cheating off of me. And then my last class is Spanish, which I actually really like too. I think that health, English, and Spanish are all my favorite because they're all super fun. And then in the back, I just have a stack of loose leaf paper for when I'm working on homework and stuff. Also in this backpack, there's like a little net pouch right here, which is useful. I just don't really put anything in there. So wait, it's not useful. I don't know, I think it would be if I had something to put in there, but you get the point. Okay, then in my last pouch, I have my book that I just checked out of the library today, and I'm really excited to read this. It's called Speak, and apparently it's about this girl in high school, and I don't know, my teacher said it was really good, so I got this, because apparently we need a book for class, even though I literally have 500 sitting on my shelf. I am stupid, and I could have just got one of those. Okay, then we have my biology composition notebook, which... Here's all the work we have done so far, which is outlandish. I am on the struggle bus. This class will be the death of me. I have never been a fan of science. I just don't like science and I'm not very rich in the mind you could say when it comes to that subject and then the last thing in my book bag is my school ipad which is basically where we do all of our school related things it just has a navy blue case with a keyboard which is nice and i have all my apps and i haven't put like a wallpaper or anything in it yet that's basically what we have so that is everything that's in my backpack for freshman year and now we're going to be moving on to the portion where i'm talking about my first week of high school experience so i would say that it's gone pretty smoothly on the first day of school we had a freshman meeting kind of like giving us all the rules and regulations i don't really have that many friends in my classes which is kind of sad i just have like a few friends per class and they're all kind of different which sucks i don't have delaney or marin or riley i can't think of anyone else but like i don't have them in any of my classes and i'm really close to all of them which is really sad but maybe it'll help me focus more i don't really know i'm just gonna say because i touched briefly on this in my last video and if you haven't watched it i'll link it down below high school is by far way better than middle school i can already tell it's way more serious you have more work and all that stuff obviously but it's technically kind of the same thing you just have way more freedom you have way more privileges and everything it's just so much better like trust me when you're in middle school it sucks everyone's petty there's so much drama it's really dumb and it's hard to stay away from but when you get to high school i feel like everyone kind of just stops caring so i'm looking forward to that i'll just touch on a few of my classes so first period like i said preparing for college and careers seems pretty good we're just in a computer lab the teacher's really nice and the classroom's pretty chill too he has like lights strung and stuff and i'm kind of excited for that class because it's just something different and I think it's good for us to learn that before we go to college. Second period is geometry, like I said, which I'm not that big of a fan of math, never have been, although I'm relatively good at it. I mean, kinda. In that case, I'm really happy that I have a very good teacher in that class. He's super nice, gives us a reasonable amount of homework, which he has given us homework like a lot, but it's not very hard. So it's just easy to get done and work through. And I like his just mindset about learning. Okay, then third period is health and wellness. And this teacher is just so funny. He's great. Also, I have a lot of male teachers, which is different and I'm gonna have to get used to it, but I really like that. Anyway, he brings up a lot of good points. We have a lot of fun in that class and I'm just excited to see what else we're gonna be learning because there's like a lot of stuff we have to get through but I just think that it'll be more interesting and it'll be fun to just kind of get into so I don't have to like dread that class then fourth period is gym which I have all year long which I'm not exactly happy about because when you are sweaty you have to hurry up and get changed and go to class and it's terrible and I don't like that at all although I kind of like getting a little bit of extra exercise like I said I don't really enjoy exercising that much it's really good for you and it makes me feel good but everything else I'm not exactly excited for the class Fifth period, I have biology, which I already talked about a lot. We take a lot of notes in that class. It's kind of boring. I've never 
like science. I've never been like fascinated or anything with it. I'm the opposite actually. I just want to do good in that class because I've heard it's really hard. Okay, then sixth period is honors English, which I really like this class already. The teacher is, she's like super sarcastic and funny, which is like my kind of humor. I really enjoy thinking and learning on different level. And when I go to college, I want to get a career that's more like excelling in literacy and writing and all that stuff. So that's why I enjoy that class so much. And last period is Spanish, which is actually so much fun. I've literally learned so much in the past week and the teacher's super young. She's super cool and just does all these different activities to help us learn languages. Like we've learned like the alphabet and many words already. Compañero means companion. Welcome back, compañeros. I don't even know if I said that right. I really hope I did. That'd be so embarrassing. Anyway, then I ride the bus to and from school. Sometimes my dad will pick me up and stuff. Oh, also I have lunch. I have the last lunch, I have sea lunch and I don't really have many friends. I have like two groups of solid friends so I can kind of switch back between those groups if I want to. I'm just happy to get back into a routine with school. Summer was not fun. So I'm just happy I get to see my friends every day even though I don't have classes with them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And make sure to follow all my social medias while you're down there. Comment down below any video ideas that you guys have for me because like I said, I am fresh out of them. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support and I love you guys so much. See ya. I fall in love too easily. I fall in love.